hello there welcome to my youtube channel uh hope you're well and if it is your first time i'll introduce myself my name is bong young um i want to do a q a, a very quick q and a session following the the few videos that i've already posted online and and comments that i've had so just wanted to address a few things so one of the questions i've had is do not stare so much at the camera and in trying not to stare at the camera in one of my videos i had comments please look at the camera try and connect with us so i guess i'll just have to do what's best and see how it turns out uh, another question i'm looking down at the questions i had to note them on a piece of paper uh, there was a comment that uh, when i'm doing reflections i should try and and read them through to the end before i i analyze which is a fair point because sometimes i might be so excited at a verse that strikes me and i just do part of that verse and then do an analysis before i carry on to the end of that verse whereas if i had read the whole verse to the end uh, somebody else's interpretation of it and my interpretation of it my, might be different and it might give a new perspective to whoever is watching. So I'll take that on board. Um, I have another comment which was somebody mentioned disagreeing a little bit on how generous they should be when it comes to the video that I made on um, being generous to, 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 to poor people or homeless people. Again, it's only if you have the money. You know, you cannot give to the poor if you don't have enough for yourself and you use your discretion. If you think that you're being duped and you don't want to give money to someone because they, they're drinking and misusing the money, then fair enough. That makes sense. Um, another one was the, the video on fibroids. And the way I titled it, the new cancer, and there was a, a comment about it not really being kind of new can a new cancer because according to the viewer, uh, cancer is deadly and fibroid is not that deadly. And I agree. Of course, um, with the title, the new cancer is simply how how common that illness is, especially among women, you know. A very high high number of women especially black women have it and so because it is that common and rampant and some people don't even know they live with it yes it's not deadly in that case it can't really be termed a cancer but because of how it is affecting the great number of women that it is affecting I, I thought it fair to just title it that way um, other comments let me see where are they mm. Where do you get the courage from to speak out about your dilemmas? Well done. Thank you. I appreciate it. I guess by God's grace, you know. And secondly, I am quite passionate about issues that we go through in life, be it men, be it women, but that we don't talk about. There are certain issues we just need to lay on the table and discuss. It might help or bless someone, but we don't. We just shut them down and for me personally talking about it makes me feel better about it because i know i am not the only one going through these problems so talking about it might just be the thing that somebody who is struggling and suffering needs to hear to be able to move on um there's another comment uh why do you feel the need do you think it's really important to to expose your personal problems i would say yes and no no in the sense that yes many people uh, would want to keep their problems private i respect that and there are certain things about myself that i can keep private but there are certain things i've realized these days whether you keep private or you don't keep private it may or may not help someone for me, I have decided to share. Before sharing, by the way, I have to say I prayed about it. It's something that I didn't just wake up one morning and thought, mm, let me share. No, I've thought about it, prayed about it, decided, you know what? I will not lock myself in a closet because I'm going through problem A or problem B. I will talk about it. I will look at people and tell them about it and I may bless someone. 
have a strong conviction that some people need to hear this and they will feel blessed by it. Uh, and hopefully I'll use this platform to do that. Uh, there's one more which says where uh, people will think you're trying to justify yourself. I found that quite interesting. Um, and I don't blame people for, for thinking like this. It is just the world we live in. Nobody is perfect. And people are naturally critical. People feel good about themselves when they criticize other people, when they put other people down, when they find something negative to spread about somebody else. It makes them feel good about themselves. It boosts their image. There's nothing anyone can do about it. I cannot stop anyone from thinking negatively, from saying what they want. That will stop me from being me. That will stop me from living my life and enjoying myself. No wonder I'm so happy. And by the way, I'm dropping a next video in a couple of minutes to share my top tips on happiness. Because if I had to dwell on what people think, what people say, the gossips, I would be a miserable human being. So hopefully I've answered a lot of your questions and please do not worry about uh, what issues you have personally. When you go through certain problems, maybe talking to someone is just what you need. Maybe sharing your story with somebody is what you need. Maybe hearing somebody else talking about their story is what you need. And I always give the example, if Oprah Winfrey, for example, if we did not know her story, know, know where she came from, know her story with rape, for instance, if she kept it secret, some people would be wondering, they wouldn't understand her success, you know. Her success today is partly because she she rose from a situation like that. If she'd kept it private, we would not be able to understand how a woman like that could have come from such an experience. So I look up to, to strong women. And I want to encourage you, if you're sitting in your corner and licking your wounds after going through a difficult time, please get up from that corner. Get up from that corner. Talk to yourself. Speak positive words to yourself. Move on and you'll be fine. Um, please, if you can, I've noticed that I've got a lot of viewers who have not yet subscribed. Do well to search Bong Young Fan So and click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and please do share. I hope I've answered your questions and God bless you all.